Hello Nuggets, it's Kyoko. I'm drinking some oolong tea and I have a little time to show you guys the Pixelmon server. We're testing it right now um, to make it fancy for you guys when it officially opens. So if you want to come test it with us, go to our website. It'll show you how to download the Forge and Pixelmon stuff and install it and all of that stuff. So when you first spawn, you're going to be up there uh, and there'll be a few signs for you to read. You come down the stairs and this one's really important for sure if you want to get started easily. You use Kit Trainer, and it gives you a Pokedex, five Pokeballs, a potion, and old running shoes, which increases your speed by 50%. It's pretty fancy. It's very good to have going across the map and battling Pokemon. So I'm trashing those because I already got mine, and you only get once. Get it once. I think it has like a 11-year uh, timer or something like that. All right. So um, down here is where we have the PCs and uh, healers and the trading station, which you can always make your own of these things, but this is just easier so that you can come back here and uh, fill, you know, heal your Pokemon. You go like this. Mine are already healed, but um, it takes your entire party up and like fill and heals them, makes them all better. You can't really move or do anything while it's doing that. And then poof, yay. Alright, so this is a PC where you hold your Pokemon. There's 16 um, boxes. So um, this is what I have so far. Spaz and I played pretty hardcore when we first opened it. And I got an Eevee yesterday. I'm super excited. And then my favorite Jigglypuff. And I got a Pikachu. I'm super excited about all that. Hi, Camper Die. What up? Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the battle arena that Spaz made. It's very simple stuff right now. Uh, we have some pretty awesome ideas for when we officially open. This is the arena, which I don't want to stay around too long because I don't really have time to battle. But um, there is computer and a healing station here. So you guys can battle your friends, which is pretty cool. We're probably going to have one within our spawn as well when we uh, create that. So I'm going to go outside and show you guys where we have placed the bird shrines. Normally they're placed randomly around the world and you have to find them and it's kind of like a huge achievement and you get to spawn a legendary if you have an orb full, uh, which is a, you combine an orb and a stone and then you fight Pokemon and I think you have to defeat 350-ish, something like that. And then you come here, put your filled orb in one of these thingies here, depending on which, you know, these are not thingies, they're shrines. Um, you put the appropriate orb in the whatever shrine, and then you get to spot a legendary. Make sure you have Pokeballs and uh, patience, and just, you know, fight the Pokemon, and you can claim it. So around this spawn ring, you'll find player-built things. So please respect the player-built stuff here. Respect everything, but, you know... That's just a general rule on all our servers. So we have, people have a lot of apricorn farms. And I want to show you guys how to use the apricorn trees because it's very important that you don't break a player's apricorns. So here I'm going to show you how to properly do it. So you would right click the apricorn and it pops off. Then the tree stays there and it can grow a new apricorn. So it's very important that you do not chop it down with an axe or um, do anything else. Just right click it like that and it pops off. So the ones near spawn are public, and uh, if anyone says that it's a public, you know, farm also, that's public. So um, it's a pretty easy way to get the apricorns because you need those to make new Pokeballs. So all the way around, people have built, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys mine and Spaz's place. This is the basement where we hold all of our stuff. Um, we keep the Pokemon buildings, Pokeball building stuff here. So we have cooked apricorns. We already started making some more Pokeballs. Um, and we have apricorns here because our farm is only black and yellow Pokeballs. Uh, I keep saying Pokeballs. Um, apricorns because we only use Ultra Balls. So that is, it seems to be the easiest thing for us to do. So that's why we have such a big farm of them. This is the house that Spaz and I built together. I have flowers, of course. And then this is our mining center, our usual mining center. 
we did have stems here, but Pokemon, Pokemon griefed us. Um, plus, there's no hunger here, so there's no need to store them. We were testing having hunger, and it just didn't work out. So, thankfully, because otherwise I would have smacked some Pokemon for ripping up our farm. So that goes into our house, and then we have a layer that's 25 because between 20 and 50 you can find fossils so we wanted to make sure we could get easy for that and then down here is 11 as per usual just basic mining to get diamond and stuff and this is a cactus with a hat because I don't want I didn't want to grow a full cactus and um, so we have to name him what would be your name cactus hat man so that's pretty much it. You can come hang out and play with us anytime. Um, the server is up 24-7 unless something goes awry and we happen to have walked away. Um, and of course, all our other, other servers are still up and running and people are on there and stuff. People are kind of addicted to Pokemon right now. So I hope everyone has an amazing day, week, month, all that stuff. Love your faces and don't forget to be kind to one another. Bye.